someone that's free, that's hungering after the light of God, when you present them with something, they'll consider it, they'll ponder it, they'll research it, they'll contemplate it, they'll, they, they will use critical thinking to go through it to establish what is true and what is not. They're like the Bereans. When they heard of Messiah, they searched through the scriptures to see if these things be so. And when they found out it was so, there was great joy. But, and let's see if this kind of lines up with anybody that you've met. You present them with truth and the first thing they do is attack you. Welcome to the stronghold of self-deception. So the first, if, God, if I begin sharing something with you or God begins sharing something with you and your first response is, you got a stronghold, Jack. You got a stronghold that you better pull down and you have been given the power of God in your life to pull it down. The weapons are warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds, breaking every thought into subjection to Christ. So if I have self-deception, that thing's going to have to be crucified, pulled down, and I'm going to have to accept what God says. And if you start dealing with people that, re that respond to you like a ninja set off, you better start binding up the spirit of deception because they're, he, that spirit is their best buddy because then they never have to deal with anything. That's why behind, everything's just rosy. It's not rosy. This is a time for the people of God to raise up and to pray and to do warfare and to set their face like flint toward the ways of God and refuse, I will not go to the right hand or to the left. I'm going to stay straight on what God said to do. I've got to.